All right, hello and welcome to this very first playthrough of Life is Strange True Colors. Last time we played through Chapter 4, and now we're going to play through Chapter 5, which I believe is the last episode, at least that's how every other Life is Strange game has been, so... Based on the how long to beat time, I imagine this is just about over. I do have to apologize for the last video. The mic was fucked up. My two-year-old touched it. I figured out what happened later. <laughs> He turned it way down, and so the noise gate was all fucked up. So I apologize for that. Or or maybe that fixed it, depending on how you feel about commentary and YouTube videos. Welcome playthrough back, videos. But anyway, I fixed it. Talk about I think. In Colorado. Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out <coughs> to be justified? Uh, what hey, what do the you make of that friction? Fuck, therapist, aren't you supposed to be helping me? So this is probably a dream, right? Because we I'm sure we survived the gunshot. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Um, and I don't think we're gonna die. But Alex. We did kiss a pretty girl, didn't we? Back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Uh, uh oh. Does she have like actual, like psychosis, mental problems? I figured we were just talking what about depression and anxiety here. Uh, superpowers. Probably has something to do with that. I guess that's me. Case number <clears throat> five three three two two. Twenty one. Oh, we're twenty one. Okay, we finally figured out how old we are. I guessed twenty, so I was pretty close. Symptoms, emotional instability, occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, visual hallucinations, oral hallucina hallucinations, um, delusional ideation, depression, anxiety, diagnosis. Who the fuck knows? Thrown down a... what? Notes. Alex experiences a detailed and robust delusion that she's able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability, she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic that, to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit! <laughs> her body shattered against each jutting board and errant brick until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. Uh, this, in my professional opinion, the most... This is, in the, my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. Okay, so... We're not gonna find out that this was all her imagination, right? No. Years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing if it weren't for other Life is Strange games, I might be thinking it's going that way. But we know that in this universe, people have superpowers, so. I just want what's best for you. That would explain some things about her past, though. If she's like, actually got, like, delusions. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. 
Take? What was that noise? Okay, this is interesting. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Who's there? Guitar case. Um, Alex. Alex Chen. Alex Chen. Never my heard of her. Try again. Never heard of me. <laughs> Eight oh oh eight five. Five three three two two. Is that what it was? Yeah. Let's go the other way. tuning peg. That was easy. Where's the string? Do we need to play it now? Something magical happen? We unlock the door? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're probably bleeding pretty bad. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. So Jed's gonna assume that we died. Um... broken is if it's just a rib that's not too bad if your back's broken i bet her back's not broken because then we're not getting out of here <coughs> how in the fucking hell did you hit that and stay on it passed out Rip. That, that was, uh, we're dead, right? <laughs> oh no. Alex. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. Yeah. So? Lots of so people are you, dead, probably. Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep. 
Definitely a hospital. Gabe. Maybe she'll wake up in the okay, hospital. Here's what I do know. That would make some sense. You were ten. She I'm was found. 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. <clears throat> Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. <coughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? Oh, we're doing this again? Do anything. Stop. Okay. Interesting. Behave. Oh, it, it was I supposed to check on something else in the room? Oh no. I'm not gonna be any good at this. Alex. Go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? Yeah. We spent so much time in here that I basically... Gabe told me it was full of needles scared me to death. We couldn't afford a private room. Just there it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. It was always too hot in this room. Oh. Gabe? Alex? Find the mom's keys memory in chapter very five. Careful. That's... We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... different for a little while. But I am going to be okay. Alright, is there anything else like that in the room? She's just on the other side. 
Try again. I clicked on everything that I could see. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, what am I missing? What did we talk about? Oh, do I just need to talk to her? Hi, Mom. Do I need to get her water? No, I didn't have an option to pick it up. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Yeah, that option wasn't there before. Did you fill it? You almost never cry, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is this our dying brain? Because we, it looked like when we fell that second time, we fell quite a, a long ways. I don't think so. I, I don't think we're going to die. I think we're going to have one final choice at the end of this game, just like we have with every other Life is Strange game. What is that choice going to be? Whether or not to out ty Typhon, maybe? There's going to be some compelling reason not to. Like it's going to destroy the town. I'm going to do it anyway. Town can just dry up. Those people can move on with their lives. It'll be fine. They'll live.
This whole... Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I'll finish that thought in a minute. Do you miss her? I've seen this whole dream dream sequence thing at the end of so many video games now that I'm I'm a little tired of it. It feels a little going on? little lazy. But we'll see where it goes. You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. I feel like if 2001 Space Odyssey didn't exist, not nearly so much media would end this way, or it's just like a bunch of dreams at the end. That's what I always think of when I have a game like this where it's just like a bunch of dream sequences at the end. I always think of 2001 Space Odyssey. It wasn't cheap then. It wasn't lazy then. It was very much outside the box then. One thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out and wait for it to pass. Who's gonna hit who? Alex? Hey! It's okay, it's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? It was my job to keep the peace, but no matter what I did, where are you going? Are you gonna tell her, or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again, so we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Gabe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, bye. Dad.
What are you emptying into your bag? Sauce packets? <laughs> what was that? Someone will come. Gotta get my ketchup. That woman from CPS. Someone. He just bounces. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Didn't even give it back. <sighs> oh, I thought she was. I thought this was the real life again. I'm like, how do all the blood come off? We're still doing this. Okay. So this chapter so far has just been one long cutscene. We haven't really done much of anything. Which is okay. It's fine. Life is Strange 2 is that way a lot question? and I still loved it. Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I think, um... I can't do this, okay? I... It's really gonna depend on how this wraps up, but right now, okay. I'm thinking... Um... We need to. No. You need to be honest. This probably isn't saying. quite as good to me as Life is Strange 1 or 2. And now I'm but it's done. definitely better than Before the Storm. Almost. I didn't hate before the storm. I just didn't think it was that special. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. <coughs> I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Play my part. I'm just kind of waiting. Like I get, I, I get, we're getting some good, we're getting some good backstory here. Like there's questions that are being answered about backstory, and that's good. But there's so much of it all at once. And we're not get. I'm. I'm ready to get back to what's going on in the real world. Um. Uh. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? I wonder why she's never found a home before. I'm 
sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something oh. broken, wrong with her. <laughs> Well, now there definitely is. She's in, like, pieces at the bottom of a well. <coughs> I'm sorry. Thought you were broken before. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. <sighs> Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. I think it is possible that we're going to find out we don't actually have a power. You can change the world. I'm not saying it's likely, but I think it is possible. Make it better. I, I guess that's what the game wants us to think. That, that maybe we've been imagining this, but I bet we haven't. And fight. You're really fucked up now, though. So, you know, it's going to be tough. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, and you got shot somewhere, too, right? Where did that happen? Wasn't that your hand or something? I mean, she must have fallen three stories twice in a row, at least. At least three stories twice in a row. She shouldn't even be able to sit up. Hmm. Still holding on to that. You have your phone on you? You should have been sure you knew what the well, all right. You knew exactly where to put that match, huh? here run button doesn't work anymore doesn't surprise me mines growing into mines just like jed said 
We don't talk about Jed anymore. Safety first. You're gonna die down here if you don't have, um, I mean, she's able to walk, but, um, you're gonna need a way up. Oh. Or, um... No, 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 come on, no, 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 I can do this. Can't you, like, make some light with your emotion? Do that. Think about something happy. You can just radiate joy all over the mind. Right? That's what she's gonna do, right? Does it work that way? Like, is it actual physical light? That's probably another hallucination, Alex. That aura is the only lead I've got. Oh, so, okay, so someone's angry down here? Close. Hell divers for life, huh, Jed? Hell divers. So deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Just God turns into hell. Right. That hell divers too. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. Oh. A lot of runoff moisture in the Is it alien? Jed, is it alien pump. bugs? Fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dick this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Where did she Steady. get shot? Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. But what were they trying to hide? We still don't know that yet. Pure hate? How Ghostbusters 2? Find the pendant memory in chapter five. That doesn't sound like that was an option, though. <coughs> Jed, come back! Jed, you son of a bitch! Mr. Chet, Mr. You Chen. there like really
Oh, they're back here. I know where we are. We raised our drinks to Jed Lucan, who at this location pulled us out of hell in December 2008. So he pulled a few of them out. And left some more to die, I guess. Including our father? Is that real? And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. Please tell me we're just going to walk in here all bruised and bloody. Tradition, going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership... I bet that is going to be our final so choice. Successful. It's been Whether we're going to out Typhon or not. ...to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community. Maybe not, we're I don't know. It seems like that too, too easy a choice. Future. Unless some of the nice people actually put the pressure on, like, it really would ruin the town if you outed Typhon, which might be true. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Alex, oh my god, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Oh, fuck off, Jed. Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. Everyone at that company is scared to death. All they do is protect themselves. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too.
Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought... I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. If we really are delusional, then yeah, that's probably all true. I guess the game wants us to know. You tried to kill Want, Wants us to wonder this very thing at this point. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex... You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I would like to speak. Oh God, Ducky, we're gonna be here for 45 minutes. I've known Jed a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen, Alex, I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. I've always found Alex to be a oh, is this the part of the game person. where we find out we get more help if we helped more people? Because we didn't help these anybody. Slightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Charlotte. No, leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. You're gonna blame that on- well, it is my fault, but she doesn't know that. I can't help you. I'm sorry. So did I get screwed? Did I get screwed because I didn't help people enough? I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. 
You're gonna turn the weasley way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know. Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. Yeah, not of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove oh, yourself from... Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up with this... Brian, will you back up what I'm saying? This is a load of bullshit. Please. Why are you doing this? My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not going to let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you! Stop. What's this now? Is there some deeper level to your power? Is that what we're about to find out? That would be cool. I'm waiting for the really cool thing to happen. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself that you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous. What's everyone else doing right now? And so excited. Just watching. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because... It's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You look real guilty right now there, Jed. You got anything to say? Just eyes darting. You've forgotten it. Haven't you? 
You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. I'm worried about where That's this may be going. A lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye, but you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. Is she actually exerting some kind of power over the what's going on right now? Sometimes it's so awful you think you're going to break. It's, it seems but to be implying that. Your side and you're whole and free and still alive. Then you'll finally know how strong you really are. the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. <clears throat> I know who you are. It's, it seemed like the, the effects seem to be implying that she's got a spell cast over the whole room right now and nobody can talk but her. No, I don't forgive you. Fuck you. And I condemn you. So yeah, well, they were all just sitting and watching, I guess. Okay. How much time has passed? Because some has, or we'd be in the hospital. wasn't yeah. as satisfying as I'd hoped it would or, as I'd hoped it would be you know you didn't have that like moment where like you looked into Diane's eyes and she knew she was fucked After some you know my strength and willpower I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop and I don't know how much of that has to do with uh my decisions I wonder 
the, there was a clear, I'd say a, not clear, but a pretty heavy implication that that scene would have gone very differently if I had played the game more thoroughly. I'll have to look that up after, afterward. This is the, well, I'll say one very hey, positive stop. thing. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. This game feels okay. like it, your decisions matter more than any of the other Life is Strange games. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. At least a few days have passed because our cuts are I don't give a shit about playing in better or seeing the world. condition. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... Wait! I want to stay here, too. Well, now, wait a minute. Uh... Okay. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? I mean, what if she still wanted to go with you? Why did you tear the ticket up? You spent money on that stuff. You, you're not rich. Just go return it. Or t sleep on it. At least. You've uh, given me a lot to think about. That's what you have to say? Well, good. That was the idea. No, no, no. You, we're going to choose, right? You know where no? to find me. Okay. Whatever. If I d barged in like that and did that, and then somebody was like, well, you've given me a lot to think about, I would be fucking mortified. I'd be grabbing the tape for my ticket. <sighs> so, okay, so we, we have overcome, right? We won. But it, it doesn't, it wasn't as satisfying to me as it could have been. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road. The excitement of the unknown. Oh, is that going to be our final decision, whether to First, stay here or leave? It was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job. Do I have a home? Like you? Because the guy that uh. Why would you give that up? The guy that was letting us stay here is like our mortal enemy and in prison now, or at least in jail somewhere <laughs> awaiting prison. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young. You suddenly have a little money, friends. We have money? Do you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? Where did we get money? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit. I think I agree. Right now. You should leave this place. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. If this doesn't give us some kind of a choice, 
Oh, of course. You get a job of course. Stuff they have to ruin the end with a quiet montage. With the stupid-ass streamer mode. Give me a break. <sighs> All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. Uh. Streamer mode shouldn't ruin a game. It shouldn't. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Okay. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin to fade into the background. And I'm still getting copyright strike after one after another in these videos. Streamer mode doesn't even work, even though it breaks the fucking game. That really is a huge fucking problem. If I had this to do over again, I would have just left streamer mode off. Because it fucks the game up so bad, and it doesn't work. I don't care about the monetization. I care about the video getting chopped up. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. <laughs> it's just me and Steph. You wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities? Sharing your music with the world? I... I... Are you not going to give me a choice? They're going to give me some kind of a choice, right? Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. Okay, I kind of just want this to be over now. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. If this is the end, I'm really actually going to be disappointed. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift. Yeah, you music, took all the money out of it. Just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. Okay, you are going to give me the choice. You have Please. the potential to do that anywhere you go. I don't like this choice. It doesn't... It, it doesn't... It doesn't Where am I supposed seem to as weighty now that everything has been resolved in the story. Home. That wasn't that true, true in but Life is Strange. It wasn't true in Before the Storm. It wasn't true in Life is Strange 2. If we're just making some arbitrary choice after the conflict has ended, the truth is, who cares about no that? There's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? I barely care now. I barely care. If you're going to give me the choice, I'm going to leave. We're leaving.
I know what I want. We're not friends anymore, Ryan. What are you even doing in my house? Did you come to apologize? That's the only reason you should be here. I guess it's not my house anymore. I was leaving on the assumption that Steph was coming with him. Okay, all right. I don't want to leave alone. Why did you tear up that bus ticket, Steph? <sighs> There's probably like some gorgeous music playing right now that we can't hear. Is that it? There would have to be some fucking awesome shit that goes down at this point for it to save how I feel about this ending. I really am not crazy about this ending. This whole chapter, as a matter of fact, has been a big fucking circle jerk. I did not feel that way at the end of chapter four. Chapter four was great. Buck them up, babe. Oh, are we like, are we at a, a concert? Are we, are we playing a gig? I'll have to go back and look at the other endings. See, uh... How much agency I really could have had. It feels like I have more agency in this game than any of the other ones, which is good. Hello, which everyone. is good. That is a good thing. I'm Alex Chen. I just don't like this ending. That's the... Okay, all right, we did it. And of course, it's silence. Great. All right, let's talk about the ups and downs of Life is Strange True Colors, shall we? Um, so, uh, like the first Life is Strange, this game has been kind of a roller coaster ride. Uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm. I may be in the minority here, but I didn't really love it. it there, didn't, there wasn't any supernatural element. There wasn't any video gamey superhero or like superhuman mechanics that, to, to change up the gameplay. It was just cutscenes and dialogue choices. And it was okay, but I didn't think it lived up to the first one. Um, the second one was kind of like balls to the wall action the whole game, which I liked. But it also didn't have any... Um, since this person with superpowers wasn't you, you didn't really have any of that either. So the first one is my favorite uh, because it's got all that video gamey like timey rewind mechanic in it and um, and the story was also really really excellent however I, I think it had some ups and downs uh, I, I like two chapters in I wasn't sure how I felt about that game and then four chapters in I think started to get really crazy and then by the end I was sold I loved that game by the end right this game has kind of been the opposite um, I think the first two chapters were really, really strong. Um, at two chapters into this game, I, I, I thought that the, first of all, the story setup was excellent. I thought that the story for the first two chapters was great. There's five chapters, just like in every other one of these games. So for the first 40% of the game, the story was great. I liked that um, the character's ability in this game well i'm i'm gonna try and i'm gonna find ways to phrase this without really spoiling anything um but i i thought that the the main because it is it is a known premise of this game that you sometimes have like superpowers or you deal with people that have superpowers and uh, the power in this game is very interesting it's very unique and it makes the gameplay choices it kind of it, better than any of the other powers it really works with like 
well, maybe not better than the first one, but in a very unique way, it, it helps you to make choices and how you're dealing with relationships with other people. So I thought that was really interesting. So I thought it kind of had the whole, the whole package two chapters in. The only, the only thing I, I think that, uh, I think Life is Strange 2 had a crazier story right out the gate than this one, but this one's still a very good, strong story. Really good characters. And by the way, I had a big problem with Deck Nine's first game before the storm because I thought that it was kind of like a lower quality from the Don't Nod games. Because Life is Strange one is Don't Nod, before the storm is Deck Nine, Life is Strange two is Don't Nod again, and now this is Deck Nine again. And the next one, Double Exposure, will also be Deck Nine. And so I was worried that I wouldn't like this one as much because before the storm seemed cheaper. They changed all the voice actors to no names. The animation didn't seem as as uh, good. Like, it was just more stilted. The facial animations didn't look as good to me. I thought that in this game, they did a much better job with all of that. The game looks, you know, don't nod quality. The voice acting was all very, very good. All the facial animations were better than they've ever been. Um, I, I thought all of that was very good. And then the third chapter lost me a little bit not because it wasn't good it was fine in fact it had some very interesting choices in it but it was just a little bit slower it was a little bit it, they pumped the brakes a little bit and then and then for chapter four things got good again things got crazy things got crazier they kind of started going in the direction like uh uh the first life is strange where suddenly it's like whoa what's happening now like this is crazy there's all these crazy things are happening i didn't expect um I'm rambling a little bit. Let me let me let me let me sum up this. This game has, uh, I think, a um, f four of the five chapters. I think this game has an excellent story, excellent characters, actual excellent tech technical uh, execution. Um, I, I think uh, that it maybe doesn't have quite the best story. Like, I don't know if it's quite as good as Life is Strange 2, but it was good. It was a tier. Um, and uh, more than any of the other games so far, and this is true throughout, I thought that this game might, the story depended on your choices more in this game than any of the other ones. Most of the, all the other ones are pretty much on rails. You have the same final choices at the end, no matter what. And that may be true of this one too, but it felt different in this game. It felt like my choices, like how I, how I responded to people and how I treated other people in the world actually might make a difference in like, how the outcomes of these people's lives there were um several i speed through these games i don't do anything that's not required and that i've never felt like i paid a penalty for that in any of the other life is strange games where if i'm playing a telltale game or like a super massive horror game or something that you're definitely going to pay for that if you don't if you're not thorough right and i know that because i've done it a million times in this game i felt like especially toward the end i was thinking ooh, i should have talked to that person more maybe uh, or I should have, um, I should have been more thorough about this part of the story, and maybe that could I would have had more options. I don't know if that's true or not, but it felt that way, and I liked that. Um, so, th so there were some definitely some really good things going on. However, I think this game did the opposite of the first Life is Strange in that instead of sticking the landing super hard like the first life is strange did i had question marks i wasn't sure about that game and then it stuck the landing so hard that i was like i can't help but love this game the first life is strange at the end it was so perfect it worked out so well it was so satisfying it felt so good and then uh and, and not to say that it was super happy it was actually a little bit sad but but it it but it was so satisfying the payoff was there this game felt the opposite it, it felt like things were going somewhere. I had some predictions about where things were going. This game is a little bit more predictable, I think, than the rest of them. There were some twists that I actually totally called out before they happened. Uh, that doesn't usually happen for me in these Life is Strange games. They're usually pretty unpredictable. I think this is the most predictable of them. But still, the story was good until the last chapter, man. I did not like the last chapter in this game at all. It was, uh, first of all, it does that, does that thing where it's like a lot of dream sequences, like 2001 Space Odyssey, or, you know, any 50 million other games where at the end it's all abstract, and it's like, ugh, just bring me back to the story. And then it did, and then it did, and I thought the big, big payoff was coming, and it just, like, just didn't materialize. I didn't find it to be satisfying at all. And, you know, every one of these, and again, I'm trying to phrase all this in order to be spoiler free. Uh, 
All of these games end with some major choice at the end. You have to make some final decision about how things are going to go. And like I, I've said before, you, the, the, ga the games don't really give you a lot of agency or whatever agency you have is kind of imagined. So you, you get those choices no matter what, right? You get those final choices no matter what in all three of the other Life is Strange games. This game does have a final choice, but they, they could have picked five others that would have been way better. There's like, I was thinking, what's the final decision going to be? What's the final decision going to be? It could be this, it could be that. I was theorizing out, out loud throughout the video. And then everything, all the conflict stuff ends. You get a resolution without making any choices. And then it gives you some piddling bullshit choice at the end instead. That, that doesn't, I mean, it's kind of nice in a way, but it's not uh, to the scale that I'm used to dealing with, with the end. Like, it's a big decision. You know, every time I've like paused the game and thought, oh, what should I do? What should I do? You know, this could go really wrong either way, unless I pick the right one. What should I do? This one, I picked it in half a second because I, I, I could tell about few, a few seconds before it happened what the choice is going to be. I was like, well, I'm just going to do this. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I could have just as easily picked the other one and it wouldn't have made any difference with my satisfaction level. I, I was really disappointed by the entire final chapter of this game. I just thought that the payoff wasn't there. There, and there was such potential for good payoff with this game. And, um, and it just wasn't there. I was just really bummed out by the last chapter of this game. It could have been so good. There were some interesting parts of it. They answer some interesting questions that have been gnawing at me while I've been playing. Um, but nothing really satisfying like in Life is Strange 1. The ending of Life is Strange 1 is um, incredible. Um, and... You know, in Life is Strange Before the Storm, maybe it's not as weighty, but it's still important, still an important choice. And then in Life is Strange 2, it's very important and it's very weighty. And it's and it's it's one of those things where it's like, oh, it's going to be ch tough regardless. This game is like, I don't care. Whatever. Do this one. Let's see what that cutscene plays. I just didn't care about it at all. So uh, to sum up, I do think I like this game better than Before the Storm. Because I just thought before the storm was, it was all right, but it was just, it's kind of more just like a teen angst drama. You know, it's not, it doesn't, it has no supernatural element. It's, it's not about anything like that. Whereas all these other ones, it's like, you've got superpowers and you're dealing with like all the supernatural stuff. So there, there was some of that. I do feel like this game gives you more agency than anything else. I really did like the story until the end. And, um... And I, I loved, uh, I thought that Deck Nine did a better job of, of keeping the technical quality up to the Don't Nod, original Don't Nod standard. But I just thought the ending was so bad. And I thought that the, the, the I mean, everything about the ending was just really bad. And, and I don't think this game had the, like, every level, every area is just one, one upping the last one with, like, the, the the plot and how dramatic everything gets like life is strange 2 was uh was like that and life is strange 1 too uh this game didn't really do that it was more like it would it was kind of slow and then go real fast for a little bit and then slow way down and then go real fast for a little bit it was kind of jerky like that and i just hated the end i just i just didn't like the end at all um so but uh uh uh, uh I'm still really glad I played it, and I'm still very much looking forward to Double Exposure uh, next month, so um, that'll be good. Oh, and let's talk... I know we're going for a while. Let's talk about streamer mode on this game. I never thought I'd have this complaint. This is actually a huge deal. It, it shouldn't be, but it really is. Uh, you'll notice that this is completely quiet, right? So, none of the... As far as I remember, none of the other Life is Strange games have had any kind of streamer mode which has been a big problem because every time I upload these videos to YouTube, they get 50,000 copyright strikes because they're full of licensed music, right? So of any game to have a streamer mode or, you know, where I can upload these to YouTube without a problem, this series should have it. And it's been a, 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 a weird absence in the whole series. This game, for the first time, has one. I saw it and I thought... Oh, great. Awesome. So what we'll get is we'll get basically the same experience, but but the licensed music will just be replaced with something else. And, you know, it won't, probably won't hit quite the same in some of the scenes, but it'll be fine. It'll be all right. It was not all right for two main reasons. Number one. 
some fucking idiot decided that instead of replacing the music with other just non-licensed music, they would just delete it and there would just be silence. And you know what? If it's cr if credits or, or background music, it's still weird, but that's one thing. It's like, OK, well, that's a little bit weird, but I can survive that. No, no, no. We're talking about whole scenes where people are playing guitar and visibly singing and dancing and at parties. And there's like clearly, you know, music playing and it looks ridiculous without it, without hear, being able to hear it. I mean, you know, those memes on TikTok where they'll like take the music out, out of a music video and all you hear is like their shoes squeaking on the floor and them going. Hum, hum. That's what it was sounded like. That's what it was like. It was horrible. It was cringe as hell. It completely ruins every scene that has that. And there are a lot. So that's number one. Who it would have been very easy to put some unlicensed something. Yeah, maybe you have to move a few assets around in some of the scenes where they're actually playing the guitar or whatever. Make a few tweaks. Come on. It's it's 2024 or 2021 when this came out. That's not an insurmountable task. Right. Number two. It doesn't even fix the problem. I'm looking at my videos on YouTube right now. Every single one of them has multiple copyright strikes on it because they didn't actually mute all the video. It's like they took all the most important to the scene music and deleted that. But then the actual background music they just didn't bother with and it fixes nothing. If I had this to do over again, I would have just left it on and been like, well, I guess big parts of this video are going to get muted or whatever. You know, I don't care about the monetization because I make like 50 cents off each of these videos. But but I don't I don't want the, the video to be messed up. I don't want to have like big parts to be muted and I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. You know, so so I, I if I had this to do over, I'd just let it go because it it ruins several scenes in the game, multiple scenes per chapter are absolutely destroyed and, and it takes you out of it 100 percent when you're supposed to have some really heartfelt scene and somebody's playing guitar going and there's not a sound to be heard other than the squeaking of their shoes it's ridiculous who made that choice and whoever did it doesn't even work it doesn't even work i mean i get i got I, again i've got I think 11, 12, without even uploading this video yet, copyright claims. It's, a, it's an absolute, the streamer mode on this game is an absolute disaster. I imagine double exposure will have a streamer mode. I will not be turning it on. Because I don't, <laughs> I guess some parts of the video are just, I, maybe I'll get in trouble or whatever, but it absolutely ruins the game. So that's a huge problem and it's an easily fixable one the problem with the ending not being good that's a i recognize that's a complicated issue right and there may be even a lot of people that disagree with me about that that's get yeah, i get that there's nobody that could possibly disagree with me that the streamer mode is a fucking disaster i i just i i can't i can't imagine where their head was at when they made this situation and they didn't even check to see if it would work what a nightmare Oh, you can I see that the death counter is on the screen. You can ignore that. I don't I don't have a death counter for uh, this game. Uh, that's from the last game. All right, let me I'm going to shut up. But I, again, I liked this game, but it really did frustrate me a few times because th they really dropped the ball in some places that. They could have knocked it out of the park and they just didn't. Whatever, I have a. a strong feelings about this because i really really wanted to like it all right uh, that's it you know we're not I, i'm not even gonna look at the choices at the end i don't even want to know we're, we're just gonna uh we're gonna say goodbye so life is strange true colors it's been fun but we are now going to um oh i hit the wrong button we're now going to delete you from our console and never play you again bye thanks a bunch Okay, that's it for Life is Strange True Colors. Jesus Christ, what a fucking train wreck at the end. Uh, all right, uh, the, uh, just a uh, brief um, rundown for the next few days. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. It's okay, I'll do it now. It won't be on the other video, but that's okay. The bottom center of the screen says that we have beaten um, 80 
four games in 2024 and 531. Since we started doing this in 2020, those need to be updated. We've now beaten 85 games in 2024 and 532 since we started doing this. Let's go. All right. Uh, yeah, brief rundown for the next few days in case you're interested. Um, today is September the 16th, 2024, which means tomorrow Plucky Squire comes out. Uh, it's going to be on PS Plus, so I'll be playing on the PS5. It's the new Devolver Digital game. It's like a 2D, 3D platforming thing. It looks interesting. So we're going to be playing that. And then as soon as we beat that, we're going to play the new Souls Like and No Tree of the Last Song. As soon as we beat that, it'll probably be time to play Beyond Galaxy Land, which is a new pixel art RPG that looks throwback RPG that looks pretty interesting. And then it'll probably be the end of the month. And then we'll get into October with the scary games, Silent Hill 2, Quiet Place. And we'll have some time in there. So we'll probably try and play Stellar Blade, maybe Metal Gear Solid 5, maybe. Maybe Ocarina of Time. There's several games on my list that are bigger than I need to beat soon. Um, all right, that's it. If you're still here and you watch the whole video, or even if you watch the very end, thank you. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me. I will see you on the next one, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.